Hey, let me say this one more time. Happy New Year. And I am reviewing the December 2017, January 2018 issue of Forbes Africa Woman. And I am just going to go through the stories that have caught my attention. And um, the biggest for me is the stories of the Museveni's. And I'm talking about Janet Museveni. I'm talking about Natasha Museveni, I'm talking about Patience Museveni, and also um, the tourism entrepreneur and elephant conservationist, first daughter, Diana. So when it comes to Janet Museveni, it's an interesting story of not only her life, but also what it's like working with her husband. Remember, she is a minister in the government in Uganda. If you don't know minister for what, grab the copy of Forbes Africa Woman. Patience Museveni has been a pastor for the last 11 years. Did you know that? No, you didn't. So please read about her in the current issue of Forbes Woman. Natasha, on the other hand, has done a feature film on Uganda's Bush War of the 80s, in which her father, President Yuri Museveni, played a leading role. Read about that. And of course, there's a tourism entrepreneur and elephant conservationist, Uganda's first daughter, Diana Kamuntu. And uh, Forbes Africa Woman has actually touched on uh, the issue of uh, Uncle Bob in two separate articles. My favorite was Bye Bye Bob. Mm -hmm. And Chris Bishop did an interesting um, one pager, very tongue in cheek, very incisive on um, Grace uh, Mugabe and uh, the fact that uh, she was uh, Marie Antoinette with a credit card. Also in this particular issue of Forbes Africa is a story that it's, it's literally it's that much. But the reason it caught my attention and I had to read it twice is because Nkosi sells jewelry from a township in South Africa to the world. His seed capital came from not a bank, not a godfather, from selling cakes and sweets in Soweto. You need to read his story. It's in this particular issue of Forbes Africa Woman. Uh, one of uh, two female billionaires on the continent says, let's learn from each other. Now, I'm sure you're wondering which one, which one, because there's two female billionaires on the continent. So you have to grab the copy, grab it and read. And I think one of the ones that I, I believe, this is the one of those you tear out and then you put somewhere so you can look at it. And it's called 50 Mistakes Equals Success. So there's a serial entrepreneur, her name is uh, Vanessa Masilo, and she sold sweets while in primary school and founded her first company at the age of 21. No pressure, just what are you waiting for? So grab yourself a copy of Forbes Africa Woman, the December 2017, January 2018 issue, and uh, get inspired. I think you will, all right? And subscribe and come back because I do want to review Forbes Africa.